Slade the Black Mage here, back with another episode in the Utopia world, and hopefully all of you are having a good one today. So, we are out here in the swamp, where the excavation project is currently uh, marked out for, and wanted to show you the progress. We've got all the trees cleared, so you can see that witch hut, and that witch hut. So, step two build the farms and start excavating yeah we got a lot of land to clear and these two farms are technically on two different levels but I think this is the lower one so we're going to work with its numbers as far as where we need to be standing so that you know the witches stay spawned in and uh, able to get their drops we're going to do an old style uh, uh, witch farm pretty much uh, using water to push them down and let fall damage kill them. And I've had a couple of witches show up, but nothing major yet. Uh, so the first step we need to do is I need to get this uncovered from the dirt and uh, get the layers put in so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a cut here uh, Get this one dug out put in these slabs where they need to be and come back with you guys so back in a hot tick And we're back so I've done a little more than just put in the platforms I had to first go back and collect the stuff so everything you need is in this shulker box um i'll explain why the tinted glass and the thing is i was copying the recipe from exuma's video so this won't really be a me doing the same tutorial over and over you know for the most part i'm going to be using the same design there is going to be a little tweak though you see with his made six years ago there was you know not tinted glass now there is so I've got a feeling that the giant overhead platform, you know, that covers everywhere, is probably not going to be needed. But I still included all the blocks just in case I was wrong. But, so yeah, this isn't going to be a tutorial. I'm just going to show what I've done that's the same and also show what's different. But, you know, so how the system works is there's going to be water here. And when a witch is standing in this platform... They're going to cause a tripwire hook to go off. Piston falls down, water falls out, which gets pushed over. They fall to their death. Simple as that. Uh, as far as uh, things being done different, as I said, I'm going to be doing uh, tinted glass instead of normal glass. Because again, we have that option now. And whereas we did before and I'm hoping that the tinted glass can block the wa uh, not water but uh, uh, block the uh, light so that it's dark inside uh, yeah other than that there's not going to be a lot of real difference I'm going to put these blocks here because I need to be able to put the sticky pistons along here without some issue but yeah so let's explain what this does so you know I've mentioned the tripwire thing we haven't gone to that part because we have to build the wall over there uh, but so when the wire gets activated this piston pushes the redstone block over to here to this hopper unlocks this hopper to push the item back into here which causes the comparator to go off which causes the piston to go down. Very simple. Honestly, he made this very, very simple. 
and I like it. I, but I just want to see if the design could be updated with tinted glass instead of normal glass because we have that option. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mass replicate uh, this whole thing and we're going to go from there. So yeah, I'll be back with you guys once we're at a significant progress point. So I had to step away for a moment to uh, deal with something and you know, left my game running because figured be gone no more than a minute and look what spawns in here. So it does work. It does work. We don't need the big old overhead platform. Yeah, I was going to show more of what's going on, but uh, fun fact, when it's pitch black in there, you can't say anything on camera. So figured I'd just do the wiring myself, get it done. Uh, it doesn't take much, honestly. But yeah, we got all this hooked up. We got two of the floors wired up. So I need to go in there, and then I need to dig down a trench that's 32 deep, I think starting from that block. So, yeah. At least we know this actually works, which that's a good sign. So, I'll be back with you guys probably when the trench is dug. And we're back. So, we got this finished up, actually. Surprisingly, rather easy to do. So easy, I was able to get the second one over there set up as well. Same process, you know, just put in the floors, put in the pistons, you know, all that kind of stuff. Um, so, I put this here to keep it in dark. But when we go down, we can go down the uh, ladders. Now that was just a 30 minute test I did to see what, you know, what the rates were like. That was just overall. So I think, you know, that's good considering, you know, we haven't done a lot of stuff. But I think the rates will improve once we start clearing these spawning zones. So that's where the excavation part comes in. So I'm going to keep trying to improve the rates as it goes. But... Yeah, this project is pretty much done. Uh, and depending on how we're doing on time, we we'll might either start up another project or uh, have to call it. But yes, yeah, uh, the thing to note is that one is lower than this one. So I had to adjust my uh, platform up there for depending on you know to make sure that both of these are loaded in at the same time oh, I gotta grab this so uh, let's take a look how this is looking well then Okay, I had to take a second. I had to take a second and I knew it would be content I have to cut, but luckily, bed's right here, so we spawned back here. So we're good. We're good. So hopefully, our stuff didn't all land in the hoppers. Okay, so two glowstones. So yeah, I'd say those numbers aren't great right now. Where's my pants? Oh, that's right. They had the curse of vanishing on. Great, so I need new pants. Oh well. So yeah. Project's working. I just died. It's all good in the world of Utopia. And we're back after that cut. So, uh, 
been trying to figure out what to do because I was sort of expecting that uh, witch farm to be taking a lot more time. But something that I do when I'm just like, okay, I'm just got to figure things out. Got to just get things uh, played out. So uh, where there it is. You know, so just got to play the game sometimes. You know, let your brain do some thinking. And sometimes you just got to work on some projects. One of them being this cocoa bean farm. Not much of a high yield producer, but it uh, it does the job. Plus the main thing is like, I can either bake with the cocoa beans or use them for brown dye. There's not much else I can do with them. But you know, finally got that installed. Um, let's see, what else? Uh, there's a few other things that I've done uh, for the sake of pushing things forward. Uh, put in the staircase finally for here and over there and got these properly uh, set up so we got some lighting in here no torches uh, same level as this hi doggos uh, we got some stairways up here uh, not sure if I'm gonna switch that out I probably should probably should uh, yeah I'll probably switch it out or something but uh, yeah I originally was looking at my stuff and it's like, huh, for this being a project area, I actually don't have a way up here. So, start working on a little stairway thing. Uh, and this side obviously has the nether portal access still, which is actually pretty good because we get one of those, uh, uh, the bigger pig things that come through. Um, well, can't get through this one wide because I think it's a two wide creature properly lit up no torches uh, and the other side is pretty much mirrored it with the exception of the doorway because even though we have the space back there I haven't decided if I'm going to do anything yet with that back there um, oh we also got a light up here nether rod nether rod <laughs> end rods and uh, levers uh, just got a bunch of those going in. Um, cat. I didn't plan for the cat. Uh, I got another automated machine in here. Uh, honestly, this one's just for looks. It does nothing. It's a self-driving vehicle. Uh, but, yeah. So, gave it a little hover-like look. You know, using the ender chest. It can drive itself forward. You know, some extra automation. We've also got two other robots uh, put in. Uh, pretty simple robots to do actually just take an armor stand put orange leather armor for chest legs and feet and for the head use a skeleton head and it looks a lot like a robot so I've got two robots standing guard out here in front of the door oh something I want to note uh, because of the way that door is it's like well that door needs to be able to go up so I'm going to be blocking off at least for the first floor. I may do it for the second floor as well. Or whichever floors these are. Uh, this wall section, because that is exactly... Like, let me show you. That there is the... Uh, Rolly door. So I'll probably end up just having this back section sealed off. Saying, hey, that's the mechanics of the Rolly door. That's what... Closes it off. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I've done on my own uh, while trying to figure out what to do. Oh, yeah, almost forgot. Um, been trying to figure out an idea. Uh, I've moved the uh, chorus fruit farm from here into this building, and I've been trying to figure out what to do with this building. Uh, well, right. Uh, we. Uh, slowly coming together with something. I, I'm not sure. It's just, it's like, okay, let's put in a frame. Then my brain was like, you know, red concrete would be nice. So we put in red concrete. So, and just inside, chorus fruit farm. Easy enough for me to, uh, well, come in there. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it that I've done so far is around the base. Uh, 
as I said, I've been trying to figure out what else to do. Uh, I need to get rid of those torches. Uh, thing was, the, the reason why these torches are here is because uh, Angel and I were doing some testing of the Skulk stuff. And we were wondering if torches blocked their growth or not. And it seemed to do that. But I need to get rid of these torches because, you know, they're... Well, they're not needed here. Well, I mean, some of them are, but not all of them. You know, we need a pattern here. So, yeah, I need to figure out what else to do. Because I right now this video is at like 15, 16 minutes long. I'm not exactly sure. But I want to try to aim for half hour episodes. And it's like, okay, what else do we do? We, we finished one project. That project went way too quick. What do we do? What do we do? So, uh, once I figure out what to do, and if there's any other little things that I do do, <laughs> uh, I will bring you guys back on it. So, see you guys in a clip. So, update on the Guardian Farm. I've been slowly but surely filling it in. It's getting there. Once it's filled in, then we need to excavate the thing and be able to start turning this into a farm. But this is a project that takes a long while to do, and oh boy, I can't believe I'm doing this. I'm going to be honest, this is like the fifth time I've ever drained a Guardian farm this way so I could turn it into a farm. Like, fifth time since they've been introduced. And it's mainly for the Sea Lanterns. To be honest, it's for the sea lanterns. And I'm driving myself nuts doing this. But you know what? I'm trying to get the work done on this. Get it filled in and just get it so we can start using it. Uh, not again, but you know, start having this resource available. So yeah, that's the progress update on this thing. And we're back. So, this is probably going to be the last clip for today's episode. I can't remember if I'm at the mark or not, but uh, it's getting close to when I want to release this, which I want to try to keep it at a re release window of like, you know, once a week. So, figure 30 minutes or when, uh, you know, it comes time to release, those will be, you know, whatever's the deadline. So, you know, whichever comes first. But anywho, we built something. I present to you, uh, let me go into spectator mode, the BMI VTOL fighter. Was honestly racking my brain over this one because I was trying to make a nice looking VTOL and the first one was like, ah, it works, but I'm not a big fan of it. So, you know, been trying to get this one down. Uh, actually got a little inspired by uh, some Star Wars uh, uh, spaceships. And it's like, hey, we could do, modify one of those. So, yeah. Ended up getting one of these. So, we got twin engines that can rotate. Um, I know you can't really see it, but that's an observer block. And, you know, have the little red bit poking into that. So, you know, that's the turning thing. Um, gun turret at the front. Looks like a little Pinocchio nose. Uh, missile battery here at the front as well. Uh, little tail fin. Not really needed with, uh, you know, these engines. But, you know, I felt like it needed a little flare in the back. So, uh, let's see. Uh, little flaps here to help out with atmos atmospheric flying. But it also has the added benefit of helping you get up. Because here's the fun part. You can actually ride this thing. I decided to go with the smoker. Look the most like a computer. Uh, so yeah. You can sort of pretend you're... Oh. I guess well, you're stuck with that. You. So you can sort of pretend you're actually riding in this thing. And easy enough to get out. And we've also added in a bit of a uh, 
a solidify pad for up here. Uh, I've been wanting to do something with up here. The torch span was horrible. So we've got uh, andesite, polished andesite, and stone, as well as jack lanterns covered with uh, uh, gray carpet. So, oh, and we got these little, uh, got the idea from Durple, uh, little observer blocks for the blinking red lights, as well as the yellow concrete and coal blocks for marking out the landing zone. I was half tempted to uh, land, I mean, build the thing where it looked like I did not land right in the square, but I figured, you know what? You probably would have autopilot do the landing for you. So eh, that doesn't work out much. But as I said, that's probably going to be it for today's episode. Um, not sure how much time we are on the footage, but you know we are getting close to when I want to release this, which means I need to get this edited up and stuff. So yeah, we got to get that going. So hopefully you all enjoyed. This has been Slade the Black Mage. If you like this kind of content and like to see more, hit the subscribe button down below. Uh, that way these videos can show up in your feed. If you like this video or this series in particular, you know, consider hitting the like button. It helps out with the algorithm. Uh, if you have any thoughts on, uh, this video or ideas for future builds, you know, drop a comment below. Also helps out with the algorithm. And if you want to be notified right away of when a video goes live, uh, consider hitting the bell icon. Oh, before I forget, uh, also... Took out the torches here, got them replaced. Uh, hit the bell icon for, you know, so YouTube can send you a notification right away about, uh, you know, when uh, a video goes live. So, yeah, this has been Slade the Black Mage, and I'll see you all around the bend. Have a good one, folks.